Okay. Trump supporters are the most retarded people in history. Let me be very clear. I do not, I am not talking about people who say Trump was better than Hillary. He definitely was. I mean, literally anything is better than Hillary Clinton. This is a better president than Hillary Clinton, this pen here. Okay. I am not having any problem with people saying Trump would, would have been a much better president than Biden. After all, Biden has dementia. <laughs> you know? But no sane human being should ever feel good about voting for Trump. Remember, the job of the president is to represent all the Americans, not to demonize half of them and call them and everything they believe in imaginary nonsense, right? Which is all that Trump ever did. He didn't listen to any of the critiques and respond to any of them. He just said, that's just the lamestream media trying to demonize me. Because he's an idiot, right? He's a complete fucking tart. Like all of his supporters, apparently. So, okay, I get it. You're frustrated and angry with stupid bureaucrats. Trump was not a stupid bureaucrat. He's just a horrible person who has no business being president of the United States, right? Because the president needs to, yes, make good decisions. Yes, represent all of the country, right? All the people. And yes, explain himself in something other than tweets. So, how do we know for sure that Trump is a terrible fucking president, no matter whatever else we evaluate. Well, if he's a good leader, then why couldn't he even keep hand-picked people that he hand-picked as being as like-minded as him as possible? <laughs> he, not only does the half of the country that hates him hate him, even the half of the country that loves him hates him if they spend any time with him. So, I can't, there's never been an administration in history that bled staff members the way that his did, right? He couldn't keep a cabinet together. He couldn't keep a press secretary. Either they quit or he fired them because they disagreed with him about something. He tried to get people in his administration to sign personal loyalty oaths to him. That is fucking treason. He's the president of the United States. He's serving the public's interest. Those people should not be loyal to him. They should be loyal to the American people, America and the Constitution for fuck's sake. This is a guy who seems to think that it's a great thing that because he's famous, he can grab women's crotches and get away with it. This is this this is the person you're 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 so happy to be supporting. He's a total fucking scumbag. So yeah, he might have seemed like a solution to some systemic and long-lasting problems in American democracy. Yeah, he got us out of some stupid agreements while he was president, and that's a good thing. Yeah, Russia didn't invade Ukraine while he was president, and that's a good thing. But if you think he's qualified to be president, you are incredibly fucking stupid. Because, wow, all you gotta be technically is 35 and an American citizen. As thoughtful people, we understand, right? That you don't want to elect a buffoon who hates half the country and shits on the Constitution every day before he gets up and has breakfast. Before he eats, he goes and shits on the American Constitution and everything it says and stands for. 
He can't even keep his own fucking administration team together. Everybody quits because he's so fucking stupid. So if you support this guy enthusiastically, go fuck yourself. You are a threat to democracy with your fucking disregard of things that matter.